hey guys welcome back to my channel and happy friday i'm gonna be doing a reading today for you because i um got a feeling of a masculine laying in bed uh very in a depressed state purging a lot of um i'm i'm feeling like a a, a wall of um high vibrational energy has just boom hit this masculine in his head in his heart just everything is just like very intense right now um in his environment things falling apart but then um a deeper recognition of a divine feminine uh just a lot of purging is what i'm feeling so welcome back take a look around i want to say thank you to all my new clients that have booked me it has been amazing to see a bunch of these new highly evolved sensitive feminines that have been coming and working with me i truly appreciate it um yeah so if you want more info about me i do a lot of shadow work guys if you guys are new here take a look at the dark work series i get pretty potent information i work with plants uh i never had an awakening in this life i was born in the spirit realm seeing things i have magical you'll see magical things happen on the channel a lot of coincidences so make sure you hit subscribe as you become part of the fam and my returning subscribers i love you guys so much um, I'm so happy to hear when you comment down below of how it resonates for you and seeing just a lot of my clients and people on here over the last couple of years grow into such magnificence and owning your power. It's truly amazing. So let's get into it. Spirit, way shores, the highest of the high source creator that have brought us here in this time space. Please clear and have allowed me to be the best channel for the viewer. And please bring through what is going on with this masculine energy that I'm picking up in regards to being laying in bed. Why is this masculine laying in bed? What is he depressed about? Okay. So we have communication, mask, ascending, unawakened, and mirroring. Okay. So I'm feeling like this depression that's hitting this masculine is because he lied to this divine feminine. Bottom of the deck, we have divine feminine. Here we go. Here's the magic as I'm saying that. Um, he lied. So he's laying in bed, depressed, thinking about this divine feminine, um, knowing that he has to communicate with her, knowing the middle of this read is the Ascension card, knowing that this is a, this is, the next level this is his last time on earth is what i'm hearing this masculine is aware that this union is very potent and it is his last incarnation with his feminine on this planet and what i'm hearing is that if he doesn't do it he may be stuck in the dark grid work because i'm feeling this feminine energy has definitely um turned her back here he wants to compromise here because of his self-worth that he's released that he's releasing exactly that that's what i'm feeling i'm surprised the purge isn't here that he's releasing a, a toxic um self-worth self-image self-belief system sorry guys i'm getting pulled to another deck which i wasn't planning on using and i'm just i'm like spirit but where is it because i have so many decks and now they want me to they're guiding me over here. I'm sorry, guys. You want to fast forward this because they're pulling me. Where is it then, Spirit? Where's the deck? Where's the deck? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why they do this to me, guys. Sorry. They're telling me it's in this pile. In this. They want me to go in here. They, okay. They want me to take this one. And they want me to take this one this one okay okay i thought it was another one it's the images they want me to look at this one okay sorry guys that doesn't happen often <laughs> but this is what I, even in your reading they tell me so i speak to the light council so there's a lot of energy that's coming through they want me to pull on this first so then we're going to get into that one so let's see about this masculine's energy i wasn't ready for that intuition and making a decision they want me to take it I haven't used this in a long time. So this masculine is definitely sitting here trying to get assurance here. Look at this. Being gentle with himself. But he's definitely at a place right now of using his intuition to make this decision. 
This is beautiful. Um, we have like horses here, a lot of animals, a lot of support from the, from the um, other realms, right? Who uses intuition, animals, plants, uh, bacteria, they go on a different frequency level than humans. Humans are tapping back into that energy frequency. This masculine has somehow tapped into this energy frequency. He's lighting up here in his mind and all he can think about is making a decision about this divine feminine. So this masculine definitely wants to come forward, definitely wants to communicate and talk about the mask that he has been wearing. He's thinking about Ascension, but he's what's holding him back, Spirit is saying, and why he's depressed and why he's trying to purge and release right now is because there's still pieces of him that are unawakened and he's feeling because of this mirroring energy that he may be a burden. Hmm. He doesn't want to bring his unawakened state to this divine feminine because he does see her as, you know, highly evolved here. Let's take a look and clarify. We've got divine feminine over there. Let's take a, let's get some tarot in this guys. Cause I keep seeing that he's sad. He's laying in bed. He's got the covers pulled over his head. He's doesn't, he may be intoxicating himself. I'm seeing cannabis or, um, but not using the plant in the right, correct way. Um, drinking, sleeping pills, just wanting to numb himself. Or if it's not that, just not wanting to be a part of life right now. Tell me about this communication with this masculine energy. What is this about? What is this masculine going through? Page of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. He needs balance. He needs to discover more. He needs to know. Uh, what does he need to know from the Divine Feminine? He wants to communicate with the Divine Feminine that he needs more. That he's seeing things clearly now. He wants to come to Divine Feminine and say, you know, I wasn't seeing things clearly in the past, but I'm definitely seeing things clearly now. I want this balance. I love this Two of Pentacles. It's not a juggling energy in this deck. It's more meditation and um, being the calm in the storm. <clears throat> and he sees things very clearly, he wants to say, that he feels like death. <laughs> <clears throat> I shouldn't laugh here, but he's feeling, you know, that there's no renewal for him. He's saying there's no renewal for him unless he has his feminine. Yeah, he's nostalgic about the past. So this masculine's laying around, feeling... The loss, the divine feminine, definitely juggling, uh, trying to find that balance in that pain, um, trying to find his peace in that pain. It's helping him discover himself more and he's starting to see things clearly. See, this pain is really helping him to see things clearly. He's been wearing a mask this whole time, okay, in probably a third party situation. We have two threes out in a community, in contracts. And building and creating things. Um, he was disillusioning himself. Tell me about this page of cups. Tell me about this, his mask. See, he was always in competition. This masculine looked at things in a very black and white sense is what I'm getting like competition um, not about alignment not about there is no such thing as competition guys like if you're aligned to your higher self then you gain your power from source that there's no competition so if everyone just did that we would all be in beautiful alignment um, but he saw that the mask that he wore he created a competition between this karmic energy and the divine feminine <clears throat> He created a competition between the community that he's in, the contracts that he created. And now he's in a big ass mass is what I'm seeing. And he's apologizing for this competition to the karmic energy. And he wants to communicate this to the divine feminine. We definitely have two women here. Okay. Let's take a look at this um, apology. What is this apology about this competition? Now, this isn't a challenged position, Divine Feminine, as I'm saying that. So can we have it in a up or down space? Let's see how Spirit brings it. 
Yeah. It pushes Divine Feminine away. Nothing is birthing. And, and that's where he's been stuck here in this mask. Okay. He wants to heal this. So he's been stuck here in a community, in this dark place with these other people. There's three people on this card at this fire, which I've never noticed before. Um, he was avoiding a complete, you know, betrayal. Um, it's already happened. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just getting different messages. See, like, it's definitely a challenge. Like, Spirit's bringing me back to this being sideways. Because he's he's ready to bring her in. It's not really an upside down card. <coughs> I don't like taking them when they fall sideways. But they're telling me to take it. Um, so definitely being stuck in this competition that he wants to heal this. And get over the betrayal of this. I almost feel he wants the two to talk to each other. Good Lord, Thunder and Jesus. Boy, I don't know about that. Let me see. What does this masculine how does he want to heal this competition here that he's created? He's created a friggin' whirlwind of stuff in his life with a, a community, with his business, with his work environment, uh, with his family, with his friends, everything that he built on and worked on. He had, it, it was this huge identity, right? Now it's falling away. So tell me about this. What does he want between the two, the fi divine feminine and the karmic? What does he want to happen here? The truth. Does he want them to speak? Exactly. Yeah, he wants them to talk. What does he talk? <sighs> this has taken a turn, this reading, guys. So, okay, y'all. This is what I'm getting. This masculine is wanting to merge his feminine into his life okay he definitely wants his feminine in his life but there's this karmic energy that he may still have ties to could be children could be financial could be that they're business partners could be that they have kids together whatever the case may be they have some ties that he's unable that he's built up that he's still tied to financially or somehow tied to and so he wants to Get these two talking somehow in some type of an agreement about the clarity and the truth of this so that everything can heal. Tell me about what he wants with the... Yeah, see, they're going through court. There's something happening here. Okay, but he wants these two to get along. Tell me what he wants to happen between the karmic energy and bringing the divine feminine into his life. What does this masculine want to happen between the two? to work together well listen some of y'all and to take charge of the situation he's trying to take charge of the situation because of the house they may have this may be a mixed family situation guys it could be that there's ties together it could be maybe their business is tied to their home you know how some people run businesses out of their home or the land and to work and be amicable with the karmic energy who may be still in that location or the children are still there. So he's he's trying to figure that out in his head. And to take charge of the situation. But he's having a hard time because everything has been stolen. He feels like this is being stolen from him. He feels trapped. He has a lot of concern about this because of a marriage that he was in. That he may have to pay out. He doesn't want to pay out something. But... What I'm seeing is is that he can cut this karmic out, but he may come to the Divine Feminine and be like, yo, can you get along with her so we can keep this financial stuff amicable? And I, I listen, some of y'all may want that, some of y'all won't. Um, just depends. Okay, okay. So let's see. So he wants to ascend with the Divine Feminine. He wants the Divine Feminine to come in and be amicable and with the karmic and for the two of them to try and figure out how to work together in the foundation, in the home, maybe with the kids, maybe with, you know, blending things. He's getting serious. Let's see what, how he wants, he wants with Ascension. I think this is where he's having a lot of trouble here. Um, we have Divine Masculine showing up now, the Emperor. Okay, look at this with Divine Feminine. So he definitely wants this union, but there's a lot of court stuff. So when this masculine comes, it may be really, really messy. And it may not be like a lifelong choice. Maybe this karmic energy, what I'm feeling is very putting up a big fight. 
and he wants to come to divine feminine and just be like look my life is still really messy i'm going through court i'm going through all this stuff but i still want to ascend with you can you just be amicable with this person can we just try to make it work somehow tell me about this ascension this came up in a challenge position again i'm supposed to take it about his return and the loss of money so five of pentacles so this is the thing he really doesn't want to let go of this property there's something about a property here okay it could be a lot of land could be a house could be something that he's built could be a blueprint of a house that he's that he's created or he's already hired the heart architects moving locations maybe another property somewhere else there's something about finances here yep king of pentacles showing up with the three of wands and the moon so He's been waiting for something to manifest financially in this situation and nothing is happening. And it could be that this karmic is just putting up a big fight about it or it could be that their finances are so entwined that it's taking longer um, than anticipated. It could be custody over children as well. And he, the, the relationship is over, but there's, there's some type of fighting with this karmic tell me what's going on with this karmic energy right now with the house and everything else what is going on here how is this person acting <sighs> mature woman okay well there's the divine feminine because she's matured this karmic has concerns about this divine feminine about what about merit about their marriage what about their marriage What about this marriage? Tell me, sir. The despair that marriage is a high honor and they're in despair about this union. What? Are, why are they in despair about this marriage and this union? Because they're choosing Divine Feminine. They want to meet up with Divine Feminine. They're making healthy choices. So, okay. I think it's just because of this energy. Yeah, we have third-party seduction here having to leave the situation and being stabbed in the back because of a marriage this masculine wants to marry the divine feminine okay may come in slow is what i'm seeing may not be you know um just to offer divine feminine something right now but this this karmic knows that they're not going to get what they want out of the situation and they know the masculine wants to eventually marry the divine feminine and so he's been sitting waiting for this stability to come in but it's not. Tell me about this. And he's been working really hard to get his finances in, in order to bring in this feminine energy. So he's stuck. It's like he's still waiting. Tell me why he's still waiting. He may have to release. He may feel ashamed because he's this king of pentacles. He may be like an entrepreneur or a boss or high CEO or... Uh, you know, uh, I'm hearing a sergeant chief or a um, head honcho of some government institution, education institute, a professor, like a something, something really high up. I'm hearing somebody that has a um, works up like high internationally, international law, international um, financing is what I'm hearing. So this person has some type of position wealth, okay, or some type of foundation here. And he's been waiting for, working really hard to get, well, it's him, um, for his money to come in. And he may have to just release it. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles challenge. Ah, uh, okay. This masculine may have received some kind of what I'm hearing, inheritance, home, money, finances, and he gifted it to the false person. Or he may have come into some type of investment and it was karmic, karmically made for his stability to be with his divine feminine. God gave it to the masculine to build and he spent it on this karmic energy and he wants it back. Tell me about that. And that's what this karmic is holding back. Oh, because um, it won't let him move forward towards his destiny he can't move forward towards his destiny he feels unless this is gifted back to him it could be his actual home that he lives in and he does not want to start fresh he just wants the shortest cut out but this is happening for a reason he's really depressed about this because i think he's 
um, thinking that he can't move forward towards his feminine because of this. But that's that's the other, uh, he's not awakened to this. He has to focus and just make the actions, the tangible actions, and then spirit will follow through. Tell me about this unawakened. Yeah, he's unawakened about where his focus and where his intention needs to be, where his work needs to be put in. That's why he's not coming forward with an offer, Divine Feminine. Yeah, he's trying to move through things very quick. Eight, eight is about abundance. So this is about his money. He's trying to focus on his money, move towards this, cut this all out. But he feels like he has to be in a certain place before he can come forward. Where I'm feeling that the Divine Feminine may actually be okay maybe just being a supportive uh, voice or um just staying on the sidelines because she i don't think her life is totally fixed up either so she's been working on herself anyway so this wouldn't be a big deal to divine feminine but this masculine wants to impress dress to impress is what i'm hearing dress to impress the, to make it look you know a certain way but that's the ego stuff. Yeah, I'm seeing the ego card out of this twin flame. Let's see about this. What is this about spirit? That he needs to... Yeah, this is the cycle, guys. He's in some weird financial loop about money. Which is very difficult. Because I'm remembering when I had to heal that cycle. There came a point... I tell all my clients this. It came a point in my life where... Um, I was renting, I had another property that I since sold, but I was renting it out and my tenants needed a washing machine. I was, I was struck for money. I had like, you know, 500 bucks left in my account kind of thing. And, um, everything was maxed out and it was either buy food for my kids or buy a new dryer or washing machine or whatever. And because of the lack mentality that I was in around money at the time, I probably would have bought food for the kids but God said no allow me to provide for the family so I went and bought the tenants the washer and I booked several clients that night or I made a lot of money that night within 24 hours of doing that so this is where this masculine is at so I want to bring up that that example because he's in a lack mentality that if he lets go of whatever they're fighting in court or whatever this monetary aspect is um, that he's believing in himself that he can't move forward until he does this um, will actually clear the cycle is what I'm hearing will help him move forward that's what's causing separation and he's being guided to purge exactly just purge it just purge it just let it go let the bitch have what she wants to have and learn the lessons from it right because this this karmic is trying to get commitment right and wants their dreams there's a karmic partner and they've been numbing you know and they have to try to balance the scales here but they're going about it in the wrong way because this masculine has to create um out of lack mentality so i feel he wants to communicate to divine feminine to bring her in to try and get her advice to be that supportive he may do it quietly to be that supportive voice Let's see what they're marrying because he, they're both marrying. Divine Feminine and Masculine are marrying, hmm, slowly moving through manipulation here. So Divine Feminine, you may also be like moving through some forms of manipulation, things not manifesting in your life and getting really uh, concrete about how your energy is, how you are moving in your life and it's been slow. It's because your masculine is moving slow. You guys are mirroring exactly. <sighs> Tell me about this. I think what's happening between your connection <clears throat> with the hermit on the bottom is really paying attention about how the one soul works. When one moves, the other moves, right? And when one steps back, the other steps back. And to start recognizing intuitively how the energy is with you and how it is with your person and how it's um, where you get manipulated and where you get clear, a clear path. Yeah, that's why things have been stuck because Divine Feminine is in the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? So Divine Feminine is trying to find her footing in the earth plane to ground. So as you're doing that, Divine Feminine, the masculine is you're both really trying to tangibly become into a place of grounding this high potent um, connection. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I took a sip of water here. Okay. 
So Divine Feminine is trying to come into a place of grounding her energy, making more coin, um, being more stable, working out, taking care of herself, doing tangible root chakra grounding aspects in her life. But it's been slow because the masculine is slow. And it has to happen slow because this ascension is really high potent energy. It takes time to integrate bit by bit by bit. So that's what's going on in this connection right now. That's the delay. <laughs> Ace of Wands in reverse. That's the delay. Okay, the tr truths are, are being revealed now to both of y'all while you're single as the wheel starts turning. So as the wheel starts turning, the regrets will end, the cycle will end. You've both been pulled back, working through your injustices. You're getting over your heartbreak before this dream becomes a reality, union, dreaming, the options of how this relationship can actually manifest, okay? Putting an end to karmic cycles, old ways, old love relationships, nine of, of cups in reverse, Okay, by not, yeah, ending toxicity, ending old, traditional, um, passionate type of lustful karmic energies, um, old culture ways of doing things. And, you know, I only marry in my culture, I only marry people like this, I only date this kind of person, or, you know, you're done with that to get onto a new path for a ton of cups. So there's a little bit of digging going through this, you know, before things can quickly move through this pain cycle. Um, it's going to take some some time. Okay, guys, I'm going to just pull some final messages for you that I'm trying to keep these pretty quick because the uploading goes a lot faster than you get, <laughs> get your messages. So this is what the masculine's going through right now. He's not in a good space with it. Um, it's definitely a cycle that he has to make the least obvious choice, the non-rational choice, what is what I'm hearing, because... How humans logistically think of things is not how God thinks of things. So when we think like, oh, well, this just makes sense that I have to fight for this money. God's like, how about you just let that shit go and I'm going to bring you in more, you know? So this masculine thinks he's stuck there. So he's really fighting about, I, he has a real identity crisis with cash, money. Um, but he's, he's healing it, but it's going to take some time. Let's see, what else? about this masculine spirit please give us some more messages here this came up yesterday too in the readings guys what else with this masculine energy that i'm picking up bottom of the deck they want me to look at trust the niggle this masculine has to trust that niggle feeling what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you this is what he's struggling with because his mind is like don't don't give up with this court case. Fight for that. Fight for that cash. Fight for that. Um, and Spirit's like, mm, do you really feel that way? Because it's holding you back. It's holding him back. We have inner temple devotion tuned to the portal of your heart. So this is what this masculine's been sitting in bed doing. <laughs> Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Well, this is the thing. This is why I think he wants to reach out to Divine Feminine. Because he knows that this Divine Feminine can um, help him change. There's like two people dancing here together. And that's the dance of like the twin flame dynamic, you know. He believes that he can, um, maybe she can help him. Because we have the High Priestess. Here's the Divine Feminine. How are you being called to step up and lead? By bringing in his divine feminine in this situation and maybe on the side for just just to be close to her for energetic support of what is happening, even as just a friend at this point is what I'm hearing, is something that spirit is leading him to. But this masculine is fighting because he thinks, well, I need to have all my shit together to like woo this woman and, you know, to sweep her off her feet. And God's like, really? Do you really? You've already done that. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're already doing it. That till now stop overthinking keep facing your true north so it's like yeah you're already doing it dude so just this is actually another pattern of your lack mentality birthing a new age this is how this mask is learning how to manifest in faith birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So this masculine is gaining a lot of lessons of how to actually use his masculine energy in alchemy, not in just chemical manifestation and material things. This is like really working with the creator. Wow. And um, yeah, let's get some, let's get some next steps here. Can you please tell us the next steps? Yeah. So this is why they wanted me to pull out this one. 
What are the next steps with this masculine spirit? This is why they wanted me. His next steps. Okay, his next steps are divine love and divine connection. So he is definitely contemplating moving towards divine feminine here. Okay, definitely. He wants this divine connection. He wants this divine love. Um, so he's definitely moving towards that. What are next steps for divine masculine towards the feminine? Divine love and divine connection. Can't, yeah. Divine light. Wow. A lot of divine. <laughs> divine light. Walking into that portal finally. Moving into this and, and using his intuition practically. Right? Because, guys, you can be intuitive, but I've seen psychics and things like that that totally are working in something that's not aligned to God and they're off some like weird tangent place. Um, but you have to go through that to know your intuition really strongly, right? You have to know the dark stuff. So he's trying, he's moving through that here now, how to practically use it, right? How to hear the messages from spirit. So this is why he keeps getting stuck in certain cycles. Okay, let's get some messages from the masculine to the feminine. And that will be your reading, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to sound your reading and you want more details. Hit me up for a reading. Thank you again for all the new clients. And um, yeah, let's see what is going on with this masculine energy here, please, spirit. He's got a lot to say. That's why he wants to communicate with his divine feminine here. You are the most beautiful incarnation of femininity I have ever been blessed to cross paths with. Ooh. Definitely sees you as a true sacred feminine energy. Beautiful. We have, it's taken me a long time to sort out the energies that came from our activation. Exactly. Exactly. That's what's taken him so long. I suffer as much as you do. I'm just better at hiding it. Even hiding is getting hard. That's why I feel this masculine's about to step forward. Honey, we both have control issues. We mirror exactly. That's that mirroring here. That's why it's been so slow. Okay, Divine Feminine. So where he's been stuck, you're doing the same thing. It's about how you're actually uh, integrating these high potent energies into the earth. Everything reminds me of you. Well, of course it does your twins. Okay, guys, so much love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that in both down below. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.